Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is Angel, and we love you, and we send you lots of love. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. You want to wear the glasses? We are in eclipse season, so we need to wear glasses. It's good. This week, of course, the sun is in the sign of the Virgo. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Virgos. The moon will visit the signs of Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and this Sunday we have a stressful summer. Partial solar eclipse in the sign of Virgo. Sign of work and health, wellness. It will not be visible in the US. This is a big week altogether, the eclipse. And on Wednesday and Thursday, wow, good news. Jolly Jupiter in practical Virgo representing our hopes will oppose Neptune in Pisces representing our dreams, helping us to separate facts from fiction and help us to see the truth in our relationships and world affairs. On Thursday, two big occurrences. Number one, why Saturn will say farewell to its three-year transit in Scorpio and go back to adventurous optimistic sign of Sagittarius until 2018. And also, secondly, Mercury planet communication in Scorpio will retrograde in peaceful Libra and that should bring some sanity or more flow in all the communications, a big difference, and more the truth too, more justice. The news, political situations, marketplaces, and our personal lives sort of benefit from some kind of wisdom. Time to slow down though. We are in eclipse seasons. A good time, especially with Mercury retrograde, and Saturn, that means Sagittarius, that's a good thing. And the eclipse is a good time now for four weeks, five weeks, to rethink, slow down, redo, reevaluate, restart, all re, re, re. Not a good time this week for traveling. If you do and you have to, just make plans ahead of time and be flexible and patient. Not a good time also for surgeries or not a good time for love commitments, engagements and marriages. It's not change the dates if you feel you. This is not a good time. All right? Anyways, let me start with you Virgos. Happy birthday to you. We love you. You're the luckiest. The eclipse is in your sign, of course. It's a partial eclipse, but it's still in your sign. And Saturn back in your home sector makes you wiser, stronger, more determined to succeed. A good time to really reinvent yourself, express your true feelings to loved ones, find out what's good for you, and choose what's good for you. That's the idea this week. And your positive attitude, your good faith, you have good faith. You really want best for you and that everybody else brings you a lot of luck. In personal life, get ready for a sense of reunion and to be pleasantly surprised. And on the weekend, family and friends show gratitude. Your magical color, lilac, lucky numbers, 3 and 21. Libra, the eclipse in your spiritual sector and Mercury in your sign and Saturn back in your communication house make you calmer, more confident, gorgeous, entrepreneurial. Be good to yourself. Reconnect also with your true sense of values. The focus is on pushing on special projects, taking the lead and taking care of obligations and moving forward, especially in career. Helping other people bring a lot of rewards. And on the weekend, somehow, you should really pay attention to your dreams. Your magical color blue, like numbers 4 and 22. Scorpios, the eclipse in your social sector make you extra sensitive generous and funny and witty a good time to help your community to make a difference in people's lives and also to connect with your family anything to do with charity or political organizations are favored you attract people who really uh, could challenge you a little bit in your belief system so have a conversation you could learn something or teach them something and i would say in the weekend the key to your happiness is live and let live Play lottery, your magical color, blue, lucky numbers, 5 and 41. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, big news for you. Oh la la, the eclipse in your career sector. Why Saturn going back in your sign until 2018? Bring a jolt of energy. Oh, you go, whoa, what's happening with me? You may feel as nothing will be the same again. And you're right. <laughs> if it's all good, 
ideal time to make plans for your future, to think big, fabulous, impeccable, and to truly show to other people how you feel. Show your appreciation. Cooperation, kindness are the key to paradise this way. A domestic adjustment will work in your favor, and in love, you can see clearly now. You know that song? I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. It's pretty much your song this week. On the weekend, be proud of who you are and make big plans for your future. Your magical color red, lucky number 6 and 51. Capricorn, the solar eclipse in your karmic sector, and Saturn, your ruler, that in your spiritual house brings you mystery, inspiration, enlightenment, and more security and healthier too. A good time to ask questions, spend time with yourself, meditate, reach out also, maybe to get a reading like somebody like me. That's what you should do. You also can read people's mind and know why people do what they do. A good time to seek for the truth and for spiritual awareness. And somehow you'll be reconnected also with things from the past and the unknown at the same time this week. So sort of strange. It's one of those weeks you won't forget, trust me. On the weekend, just believe in magic and miracles and go soul. Not physical. Your magical color silver, lucky number 7 and 34. Aquarius, the solar eclipse in your shared resources sector, uh, and Saturn back in your social house make you popular, wiser, organized, powerful, you know what you want and you get it. You also get answers in your personal life like never before. Whatever you do, follow your heart, not your mind. In love, give a benefit of the doubt. Okay, listen to the other side of the story. In career, a financial surprise awaits, and on the weekend, you will be receiving many thank yous from a lot of people. Taurus, Cancers, and Scorpios are allies. Your magical color yellow, lucky numbers 8 and 53. Pisces, the solar eclipse in your relationship sector, and Neptune and Jupiter, your rulers are smiling at you, bring a sense of rebirth renewal and opportunities to make things right for you. A little compromise goes a long way at home and in career. An ideal time to get closer with your loved ones. Open your heart to trust. Leo, Virgo and Cancers want to help you on the weekend. Take it easy, rest. Do something fun just for you. Your magical color blue, lucky number is 9 and 36. Aries, the solar eclipse in your work sector bring you ideas and some kind of like an inspiration, but a lot of sensitivity, but you have hope. In your personal life, it's more smooth sailing, more clear. In career, get ready for a lot of activities, a lot of responsibilities, but it pays off. A good time to revise, reevaluate, uh, re-promote, redo things in a different way to really promote yourself and your talents. Are you fit? Are you healthy? Are you well? If not, Go and see the doctor, go and see some people who are experts to get you back in perfect shape because the rest of the year will be so busy and you have the ability to attract success like never before. So you gotta be fit and in shape. On the weekend, do some exercise and go and take a walk or go to the gym, something like that. Love you. And now, your magical color, orange and lucky numbers, 3 and 33. Taurus, Taurus, the solar eclipse in your creative sector and Saturn going back in your house of shared resources make you a little sensitive but resilient, powerful, invincible. This is a time to be kind and understanding with family and loved ones. Friends share funny stories or secrets. Career offers new opportunities to make more money. New ideas are coming your way. Children, pets and nature inspire you and heal you. On the weekend, be a peacemaker. Whatever drama you could avoid, that's the best way to go, especially when you're in Your magical color, turquoise, lucky numbers 8 and 44. Ta da! Gemini, the solar eclipse in your home sector, brings positive solutions in family affairs and good news in career, more peace. Whatever you've done, now you are reaping what you've done, and it's never too late to do the right thing. A good time to clean up, to forgive, forget, and just go on the right side of history. Finish what you started and start a brand new paradigm. Yes, you have a lot on your plate, but all the tools you need to succeed, you have them. Just push. And the key to your success is to experiment and try a new approach and realize where you go right, where you didn't go so good, and make the necessary changes. No big deal. On the weekend, visualize your dreams 
as big as possible. Cancer, Leo, and Libra smell at you. Your magical color yellow, lucky number is 9 and 18. Cancer, Cancer, that's me. The solar eclipse in your communication sector brings you more clarity, inspiration, and also good humor. You'll be able to laugh at everything and just see the bright side of stuff. A good time to share ideas with others, partners, family members, and also to be closer to people you love. The focus is on optimism, hope, taking care of your health, wellness, especially with uh, Saturn and Sagittarius, you get a lot of healing, you attract people that could really help you look fabulous, look uh, the best you could be and to be as healthy as you can. It's very important right now that you make your life as you want it. So you know all the rules, you know what works, you know what doesn't work and just shoot for the stars. And let other people also how you feel, be very honest and you will get exactly what you want. On the weekends, do something to relax, to pamper yourself and just try to connect with the spiritual part of you. This is where you need to be now. You're in the whole rebirth and it's fabulous. Your magical color orange, I love, lucky numbers 1 and 55. Leo's the solar eclipse in your financial sector enhances your self-worth. Saturn also back in your romantic house brings kindness, understanding from others and also the ability to see a bright fit, a picture for your future, a bigger, brighter picture for yourself and you're attracting solutions, you're attracting the right people. New visions come to you and you may have an, a, a, an idea now to get a project going that will bring you lots of money that you never thought about it and it's finally happening, you got the money, so go for it and do it. Even with the eclipses, it's time to plant your seeds and get the train on the track. And also on the weekend you have the ability to manifest some things in your mind in reality. The manifester in you is very highlighted. So be generous, give a lot so you could receive a lot. Your magical color is yellow like numbers 2 and 11. And now here's this wonderful wizard affirmation of this eclipse powerful week that transforms us. In life there's no problems, only solutions. You have to concentrate on the solutions connect with the divine in you to overrule the human part of you. That's the problem. The solution is your divine. It's not what happens to us that counts, it's how we make it work positively for us. I've been saying that since I'm five years old. Trust me. And I used to walk when I was sing, walk and talk when I was nine months and I intend to live until 130 at least. Love you and kiss you and keep your glasses on. It's eclipse season. Love you. Bye.